Welcome to Scuba Bob's Ocean Quest. This is your invitation to join our quest as we discover the mysteries, adventures, and beauty of our oceans. Today we're in a marine crisis. Come with us on our latest expedition as we reveal the current conditions of our waterways. Our focus is on ocean conservation, marine awareness, and a commitment to make a difference. Today we'll be discovering the extinction of the leatherback sea turtle and the underwater world of Indonesia. Our quest begins with leaving the states and traveling some 10,000 miles to the other side of the planet to determine the fate of the Pacific leatherback sea turtle. We must travel this distance due to the importance of this Jurassic creature in the cycle of life. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is my, I don't know where he'd be. This is Futu, one of our dive Futu, guys. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> Once in Sarong, Indonesia, we set out to our vessel, the Rajai and Pet Explorer, under the guidance of Larry McKenna, founder of Save Our Leatherback Operation, or SOLO. Aboard a large schooner, we set sail to Turtle Beach. Once we arrived at Turtle Beach, we prepared for the release of Leatherbacks. Sadly, on this expedition, we did not see any nesting female leatherbacks, which indicates their extinction is much closer than we thought. Due to innovative techniques, Solo has been able to increase the number of hatchlings. As these babies are released, they are conditioned to head out to sea, where up to 95 to 99 percent will be eaten by predators, die to the environment, or longline fishermen. Okay, what y'all think? Oh, it's Unbelievable. Everybody needs to do that. Oh, there's one more! There's one more! Go back, baby! Go back! That was about 30 of them and they all made it into the ocean. That is just so amazing. I've never seen anything like it. That is just awesome. Let's do it again. It's our hope Solo's research will make a difference. Their goal is to get more live babies back into the ocean. Keep up the good work, Larry. While on the beach, we did see a green sea turtle deliver eggs. The delivery process takes about 45 minutes to two hours. This is an exhausting job for a mom. She will re-enter the water and return next year. The male never returns to land. Now the first thing you do, first thing you do, let's see now, let's inspect this guy. Yep. The slit on the belly has to be closed to give it a chance to live. So now you put it in your hand and you give it CPR. See it's moving, so it'll start moving now. See it moving, start? Okay mama. Take, take your baby to the ocean. Come on, little one. Am I going too fast, Robert? You're doing fine. Okay, Mom. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. What's your new baby's name? Um, Mildred. Mildred. Okay, Mildred. You can do it. Come on, Mildred. Help me. She's moving more. Good. You go, Mildred. Go on, baby. Get your feet down. Go, baby. Swim. Go. Go, 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 go. She's doing good. Bye. Okay. As you saw on another piece of film, August is excavating two of our relocated leatherback turtle nests because they've hatched out and the babies have gone to sea. One data point that's pretty common, all the sticks that you see are now what few sticks you see. The eggs in there average between 75 and 100, more on the lower side. And the hatch out ratio over the last five years of data we've collected shows that, let's say of 75 eggs, maybe 35 
maybe, maybe 35 hatch out in a normal condition. On these two excavated nests, this is first time ever terrific news. In the first nest, 75 eggs that were relocated, hatched out, 75, and the babies had gone to the sea. Only five eggs did not hatch out. And to those of you who are watching this and care about leatherback turtle extinction, you're seeing for the very first time some very terrific news that proves beyond what all the skeptics have said for the last three or more years, you can increase the population the way that the Save Our Leatherback Foundation has come up with. We have three ways, and this is one of them, that we can put more babies in the ocean and thereby have more in time come back to nest. How many? Only the good Lord knows. But this is terrific news right here. This is July 30, 2009 in Papua Barat on Leatherback Beach. Well, he's stronger. Yeah. Breathing this man, just right at the nose point, like that. Did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I brushed my teeth. You're putting it to sleep. You want to do that? Come over here. You can do it. You can. Yeah, I can. Gonna swim? Oh, maybe till to the boat. Two days. <laughs> 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 Two days I'm swimming to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> 